from the Tulsa County Reserve Deputy Shooting. Robert Bates speaking publicly today for the first time since the shooting death of Eric Harris. He detailed his versions of the events on the Today Show, describing the shooting as a split-second mistake. To work for you, investigator Marla Carter has more of the interview you saw first here on Channel to 2. The family of Eric Harris. Flanked by supporters and his attorney, Reserve Sheriff's Deputy Robert Bates apologized to the family of Eric Harris. The man he says he shot when he mistook his gun for a taser. Uh, you know, I, I still can't believe it happened. In an interview on the Today Show, Bates shared his version of what happened, revealing he was positioned several blocks away as Eric Harris allegedly tried to sell a semi-automatic pistol to an undercover officer. When Harris ran toward Bates' location, he says he grabbed his gun, thinking it was his taser, and fired. Oh my God, what has happened? The laser light is the same on each weapon. Uh, I saw the light and I squeezed the trigger and then realized I dropped the gun. It's an explanation that doesn't sit well with the family of Eric Harris, who is calling for an independent investigation. If he had as much training as he supposedly had, he would definitely know a 357 from a, a taser. Bates' training records have raised questions. State records show he received almost 300 hours of instruction in the past six years. But the Tulsa County Sheriff said in a radio interview this week with our radio partner, KFAQ, his office has not been able to locate all of Bates' gun certification records since the instructor no longer works there. There are also reports alleging Bates was given credit for field training he never did and firearm certification that he never received. Bates and his attorney deny that. The so-called evidence of falsified training records comes from a person that was terminated by the sheriff's office seven years ago. Bates is due in court next week. Now, I just got off the phone minutes ago with a spokesperson for the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office. They tell me they're launching a new program called We're Listening. The goal is to get more public involvement. We'll have more on that for you tonight on 2 News at 6. Marla Carter, 2 Works for You.